stop the terminals corroding. I've used the old favorite ultra blue around the terminals because we don't need to get to them. I'm configuring my Raspberry Pi. And it's in reasonable condition. Oh, you can see dodge. it's getting a bit thin here. I think you worked out the measurements based on these planks, didn't you, or did yeah. you not? Yeah, all I gotta do is cut off the shampoo pretty well. Yeah. Well, I've got a few jobs on today on, on a little peanut. I'm putting on some protective edging. This stops the dinghy bashing into the hull. These stop it a reasonable amount, but we want to stop the actual edges bashing in. So, especially when you're going up visiting friends' boats. Last thing you want is to dent their boat. So, that's going to go like that all the way around. And then there's a blue thing that goes in there which covers up all the screws, etc. Okay, so, so screw it on. yeah, or you can rivet or screw it on. I'm going to screw it on because I happen to have lots of little stainless steel screws. Another job for today is to mount the battery for the echo sounder properly, put in some waterproof connectors for that, and tidy up this wiring. Another job for today is to put the forward seat on properly because that fell off. These inserts weren't very clever. I've already done that seat, now I've got to do this one. Other jobs are to make a better tow cable because this one's number one too short and number two not stretchy enough. This is, um, and I want to attach the tow cable down lower going to attach onto this point okay. so we're going to towing from a lower point yeah. which is uh, number one it's it's a better angle for towing and number two it is a much stronger connection otherwise that's about it for peanut and then we're going to go out and um, check the boat mm. so I've just got home from a week away yeah. it looks very flash yeah I didn't think you'd see the blue, but no, yeah, I yeah. Understand. yeah, it covers up all the screws. That looks amazing. Okay. So, how do you do it? You put a screw in. Yeah, just Can you demo? Every 300, you put a screw in. Or at least roughly demo? Yeah. I mean, for mine of this nature, to take. Here's my next mark. Okay. So, so you've already pre marked that? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. This is your trusty Sharpie. Put that in to spread it up. Oh, yeah. So I'm putting it, I'm not putting it on the side, right, because then if the boat tips this way, this will hit. So I'm putting it there. Okay, that makes sense. So there's no way that yeah. that can hit. Because if it tilts the other way, this touches. So, yeah. And now the government's still waiting for further government. And that goes in there. It's been very quiet, so I'm coming out to see what you're uh -huh. up to. Wow. Um, What's going on? I'm fitting the um, battery for the echo sounder in. So to stop the terminals corroding. I've used the old favourite ultra blue around the terminals because we don't need to get to them. Uh, put a Deutsch connector on there. What's what a Deutsch connector? Deutsch, it's it's one of these. It's waterproof. It's great for marine industry. Okay. So I'm going to put another one on this side. So I'll just put that to the length. And then we'll be able to remove the battery out of the boat easily. Is that shrink wrap? Heat shrink. Freezing here today. I reckon it got down to maybe 27 during the day.
So pin two is negative. Just like that, hey? We gotta do all the fancy stuff here and all the heat shrink. Click, click. Right, one more click. There we go, so you can click. What's with the click? Well, that's when you know it's seated. Oh, okay. Then we'll just stick that back on there. Where's my heat gun? There's a smart little bit of kit. You use them on marine and motorcycles. I've been using them my whole life. They're great little connectors. Give it a bit of heat. Yeah. This is dual wall heat shrink. It's got an epoxy glue inside it. So not only does it shrink down, but it glues onto everything and seals perfectly. It looks so smart and neat. Is that it? So job done. Sorted. Now if we connect that to that, yeah, this should come on. So look at that, there we go. The dragonfly is doing its thing. Nice. Yeah, and we disconnect it. The one thing I don't like about the dragonfly as soon as you apply power to it, right? Yeah. As soon as you put power on, it switches on. Ah, oh, so you've got to turn it off. So now I've got to turn it off. Okay. You can't turn it off until it's turned it, gone through cycles and turned itself on. Once it's fired up, I can turn it off. What are you up to? I'm configuring my Raspberry Pi for its first foray. Not much is happening. I've managed to connect it to a screen. I've managed to load the operating system and all the hoo-ha onto the SD card. But it says, just reading what happens, um, not much is happening. So I don't think I've done something right. What's going on, babe? I'm brewing some beer. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm fixing the um, the helmsman seat. So this has got to have a nice bend in it. So I'm using some thin marine ply, and then reusing the the old and two layers of marine ply. One I couldn't get exactly the right thickness, so thin and a thick. And then this goes back in. That will go across here. I'm going to screw this down to keep it radius, to glue it, and repair the helmsman seat. Lots of jobs. It's a makeshift cutting area. Yeah. It's quite a handy table that actually. Yeah, it is. Very handy. Might have to keep that for a little while. This is our new exhaust elbow. Well, it's old exhaust elbow that I've cleaned up. And um, the core plugs didn't look too good. Or what do they call them in England? Welsh plugs. So I've knocked them out. I did that last week before I went to work. I just got back last night. So um, first job is to clean these out so they're nice and smooth, so they can accept the new core plugs. So I've got three core plugs to do. I've got to make a washer to go on there. Or even a gasket. Sorry, a gasket. <laughs> and I've got to buy the gasket for there. They're available, easily available, $10 each. And it's in reasonable condition. Oh, you can see dodge. it's getting a bit thin here, oh. um, but it's quite thick back here. So I reckon it's got a few good years left in it. Um, they do wear out, um, but internally it she looks all right. I've cleaned all the rust out of it. There's no thin spots, so she looks all right inside. That's the next job, get some core plugs for there. No, no, it's fine. It's got heaps of meat left in there. It's got years worth of meat left in there. I might get a new one just to keep as a spare. But that sits on there. And then the other project I'm working on still, because I've been away for a week, is the um, new brushes for there. Wendy went to get them yesterday, but the shop just closed before she got there. So uh, I'll get them Monday. And then my two projects at the moment. Apart from building a uh, cockpit table, which I'm also doing over the end of the workshop. This is Magnus's tool collection. Well, it's a tiny part of it. They're getting a service, I think, ready for making the table for the cockpit. Yep. The 
Do you have a design for the table yet? Yeah. And what are you making it out of? Oh, let's see. Oh, that's a lovely design, darling. Really see, that. see, table, 700 wide, 600 long. Lucky I looked at that. Why, did you have it wrong? Yeah, I did the other way around. I want to mark it up. <gasps> I've taken these over to the neighbor's house to oh, cut. Oh, wow. What do they say? What's the rule? Think once, cut four times. Uh, I'll, I'll re oh. organize that. See, aren't you glad what? that I asked you? <gasps> the routers. Router bits. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, let me see that properly. They're new, they've still got no, lights no. on them. These are like five years old. These are just the ones I use all the time, oh, these yeah. ones. Oh, so exciting. And this, is, and this one. Got a there in there. But these are specialised that I've never had the reason to use. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Where did we get this timber from? We got this in La Paz from the boat next door. And why did he have this timber? Because uh, he was going to replace some of his deck on he had a he had a um hans christian as well it was 38 was it or 33 um 38 i think yeah and he was going to replace some of his deck and so he bought this tongue and groove beautiful teak and um then he decided against replacing his deck so he was selling it and i said i would like to buy it so we've carried this all the way from mexico The fitty. I think you worked out the measurements based on these planks, didn't you, or did yeah. you not? All I'm going to do is cut off the champer pretty well, and we're spot on. Okay, so we're going to go over to a mate's house and do some ripping, is that right? Uh, yep. We're going to go rip some stuff. Are we going on the lawnmower? We can go on the lawnmower if you want, or on the quad. Or line. we could go on the quad. Or, on the or we could line. go in a car. Or in the car. I had a table saw, but then we had a cyclone and it all got damaged and destroyed. So I don't have a table saw. So I'm going around his place to borrow his table saw. Let's do this. Need to. It's all yours. Cool, man. Yeah. Last time we used one of these was in Mexico. It was Bobby's. Oh no, his was a drop no, saw. Drop saw. Okay. You got numbers here so you can line them up so it's square with Oh look at that. Very flash. What are you doing? I'm ripping. Having a ripper of a time. Having a rip snorter. Right eh? That's perfect. Yeah. You're just taking, what are you taking off, just the edge? Just taking the uh, tongue off and the groove off. Oh, nice. How's it going? Good. Where are you up to? <laughs> um, just cutting all the pieces to length, so that's going to be the table folded. And then there's some butler hinges going in here, which I've got to order yet. Brass butler hinges, and then that'll flip out that wide and that one as well right or when we don't need a big table we can flip it in and it'll be a small table like so at the end here will be the attachment that goes onto the binnacle so um, when it's folded down for normal sailing it'll be like that on the binnacle and then fold it up to use it that's where I'm up to. Looks beautiful. Lovely timber. Yeah, Burmese teak. 